Right now, rabid, screaming, frothing at the mouth fans are gathering outside the Three Arena in Dublin uh, and await with bated breath the appearance of 21 pilots. Tyler from said all-conquering gargantuan musical juggernaut joins me on the phone now. Tyler, hello, sir. Hello. What an introduction. Well, there you go. You try. Um, Tyler, it's lovely to make your acquaintance. I was flicking very quickly through uh, a YouTube interview and right before you came on, I just had to cut it off. Was it you or Josh that smashed your head in only very recently on tour? Yeah, that was that was Josh. We were rehearsing for this upcoming tour and there's a part where his drum riser kind of goes up into the air and when it's pitch dark, you don't really know how how high in the air you are and he kind of took a step back in the dark and didn't realize he was six feet up in the air and fell back and split his head open. And I, was it just a superficial cut? Because it looked like a lot of blood, or did it was it concussed and need a bit of attention? Well, it was really nice because I said, hey, I know this is a really tough time for you because you're hurt, but at least this solidifies us as, as a rock band. And so I'm excited about that. <laughs> okay, so your street cred you felt was up somewhat. Through the roof. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, uh, one thing you're going to do that... Uh, it's uh, a lot of fans will know this but people who are listening might not so the guys have this thing they do on tour it's called the quiet game um could you explain in layman's terms what that is yeah i mean a, a lot of a lot of artists they get on stage and they try to get a picture or a video with their fans that them going as crazy as possible what we've tried to do is um we put a timer up there and we do a little video to see how long we can go for the entire arena to be perfectly quiet uh, we've learned a lot it's kind of been a, a bit of a social experiment. Um, it's hard. It's hard to last more than a, a second and a half. I think the record on this tour is four seconds set by Poland. Um, it is kind of fun to pit each country and each city against themselves, see who can who can do it. But it doesn't matter where you are in the world. There's always that guy. Yeah, no one will shut up. I watched a couple of the uh, the videos on your Twitter account, and it's actually. The first one, I was like, oh, this is a great game. I wonder what the record will be. And in my head, it was something like 17 seconds. And after about four yeah. video clips, I gave up, and I was angry on your behalf. <laughs> yeah, we actually, when I first started explaining the idea to our crew, um, they were they were throwing, you know, a bunch of money at it. I think the under-over was around 10 seconds. And a lot of guys lost some money, I guess, on some bets that first night. And they, they've learned their lesson. And it might, you know, four seconds, that's, that's going to be a long, that's going to be hard to beat. Yeah, okay. Um, listen, Trench is the fifth album. was released kind of late last year. Um, like, I suppose your breakthrough album, Blurry Face, that was 2015. But that that was your, your fourth studio album, right? Yeah, I guess it's kind of um, uh, up for debate on how many records we've released. You know, with my what, what, what a lot of people would consider my first album was really me, you know, in between going to school and, you know, working at a restaurant just learning how to record music myself and, and throwing us some songs together. So um, as much as the first record is um, considered the first record, it's, it's kind of crazy. If I knew now that I was starting uh, the record number one, then I, I would have probably um, taken a little more time on it. But yeah, I think it's people say three, five, I don't know. But I guess what I was kind of edging at was it, it's kind of, that's kind of curious these days when you hear of bands being signed on big deals, but they're signed on not even album deals anymore, like single releases. It's kind of, it's rare these days that a band gets to have that many albums and still have people backing them before they make, you know, what is their big international breakthrough. Yeah, I think that the album has always been a, uh, you know, a piece of art that Josh and I've enjoyed. You know, we grew up listening to albums, and you know, today with the way that streaming and different playlisting and singles works, I mean that that that, that monster eats so quickly. A lot of a lot of people fall victim to creating a song quickly just to just to feed that beast. Um, and we were trying to, uh, from day one, always prove that that the. The, the format of an album is something that still, you know, has a place and is still important. And the songs being next to each other intentionally um, is still is still important. And so we're we're trying to prove that, I guess, in a sense. Yeah, and I guess yeah, that's a personal thing for artists, the whole album thing. We're crushing on Billie Eilish at the minute. Who's who's Twenty One Pilots' big musical crush? Crush? Yeah. Um, man, I don't know. I. uh I just listen to Josh play drums every night, man. Yeah, 
<laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Nobody outside of the band. It's not solve world hunger time. Give us a name. Yeah, no, it's Josh Dunn from Toronto Pilots. I think you guys should check him out. Okay, um, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's a really, you know, attractive, good-looking, decent drummer, but mostly just good-looking. Just, just a sexy guy. Okay, we're yeah. gonna do chlorine now for uh, people who don't know but the meaning behind the song. Give us a, give us a little teaser line before we let you go prep for the show. Um, yeah, chlorine. It's me, I guess, in a sense, wrestling with this idea that what it, what it is that I love making music, then all of a sudden turned into uh, what it is I do for a living, and it's kind of hard to balance that. I think that the struggle duality between something you're passionate about and then something that you're required to do each night um, is is an interesting topic to tackle. And I think a lot of people could apply that to their lives in, in many different ways. So. Okay, when, you're be- when your passion becomes the thing that's necessary to sustain you, it takes on a different meaning. Yeah, okay. Um, Tyler, listen, thanks Bill, so much for your time. I hope the quiet game is, uh, the record is held by Dublin by the end of the night, but I have very little faith. But have a wonderful show all the same. I have faith in them. I think that the, I think we're going to beat two seconds. That's my that's my goal. Your faith is woefully misplaced, but I appreciate the optimism all the same. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks, a little fella. Take it easy.